public school systems have the new school year beginning this week, and nowadays more and more school administrators are implementing dress codes for students. This is not an easy thing for school administrators to do. Today's flashback offers one example from the earlier days when this sort of thing was discussed. This is from 26 years ago today, August 27th, 1986. No matter what the kids wear, principals in Warwick might as well wear black and white striped shirts because they're going to have to referee this code and, as they were told today, make judgment calls. It's official policy, but there's plenty of room for personal opinion and common sense. Edmund Miley chaired the dress code committee. Reasonable people over a period of time can agree on what's disruptive, what's distractive, and, and what is inappropriate in general for schools. The code spells out the nose. No shorts, headbands, sunglasses, hats, bare midriffs, sleeveless shirts and blouses. But there are maybes too. That's the problem. Clothes promoting sex, violence, alcohol, drugs and profanity are out. But which clothes? Today's straw poll points out the problem. Miley says unless it, quote, jumps out, I'm not going to go looking for it. This shirt jumps out. So it gets this. Even though it's about bowling, it strikes the wrong response. Playboy, no problem. But what about my... See, it all uh, depends what's on uh, the clothing and what the implications might be. Yeah. That was true then, that was uh, true today. And in that story, you heard the voice of longtime news reporter and anchorman here at NBC10, Larry Estepa, who was working out in the Atlanta area last time I checked, I think uh, associated now with CNN. And he has a new grandchild. He's a proud grandpa. <laughs> Five minutes to six.